All right, good morning, everybody. So today I charged my car all the way up to 100%, and I'm at over 40,000 miles, about 40,500 at this point. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of uh, what you can expect in range uh, from the car with this many miles on it. Now, uh, right off the bat, I gotta tell you, it just came to mind because I'm coming to a stop. When you charge your car to 100%, you completely lose all brake regen. So when you, uh, when you go ahead and let off the accelerator, you will have no regen. Right now, I just let off and I have just this tiny trickle, but the car is essentially freewheeling, coasting at this point. And that's because when you charge to 100%, the battery has no additional capacity to accept any other juice, any, more, any uh, current. So electric regen relies on the battery having some available space uh, to push more electrons in to slow the car down. So uh, bear that in mind. If you charge to 100%, the car will perform a little bit differently or behave a little bit differently, primarily because you lose that regen. So you go to, to let off and expect the car to slow down and it's not gonna slow down or, or not very fast. It's just basically gonna coast. So, but um, I, uh, so what I did is I charged it to 90% last night. Then when I got up this morning, a couple hours before I needed to leave for work, I told it to charge to 100%. And I did it that way because it's not so much charging the battery all the way up that's hard on it, it's leaving it at a high state of charge that's hard on the battery. So if you charge the battery all the way up and then leave pretty much right away and draw the battery down a bit, you're, uh, it's a lot easier on the battery to do it that way. So, uh, so that's what I've done. Same with discharging it far. If you're gonna discharge it down to you know, five or 10% or whatever, that's fine, but just make sure you plug it in and charge it immediately because if you leave it at a low state of charge, it's kind of hard on the battery. So, uh, so that's what we're looking at. Now, uh, when I purchased this car, it was rated at 310 miles of range. And, but when I charged it all the way up, I only got 308 miles uh, on a full charge. And I, I had shown that in, in a couple previous videos. So I was already down about three quarters of 1% in battery capacity just from the factory. And that's common, that's just production variances. Other people have reported similar things. Um, so this car now is rated at 325 miles of range. And at 325 miles of range, uh, it currently, I when I got up this morning and then I charged it to 100%, I had 319 miles uh, and then it fluctuated. It actually bounced between 318 and 319. All right, I charged my car up to 100% and um, you can see it shows 318 miles of range. Uh, I, um, I just filmed from the app before I came out to the car and it said 319 miles. All right, so I charged the car up to 100% this morning just to kind of get a feel for, um, for where my battery condition is. And you can see that it stopped at 319 miles. It bounces between 318 and 319. Uh, I had the, um, the heat on for a little bit and that's probably why it dropped a mile. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that screenshot so you'd have an idea of what my range is at uh, over 40,000 miles. I had the car, uh, the cabin preheating in that, so it, it took a little bit of current, but basically 318 to 319. And that is about 2% overall, 2 or 2.2% 2 .2%, uh, internal capacity difference between my battery versus the 325 miles of range that Tesla re, uh, rates this car at. And so uh, so that's what I'm what we're looking at. but also again bear in mind my battery from the factory was a little bit a little bit under one percent less internal capacity. So I think what we're looking at here is a realistic 1.5 percent uh, battery capacity loss. Now, a couple people have mentioned I should charge it all the way up, then discharge it down far and charge it all the way up and do that a couple times to see if the cells balance out. 
not 100% sure how much difference that's going to make. I mean, the battery has balancing circuitry in it already, uh, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I do need to charge it all the way up because I'm going out of town, uh, out of state in a few days, and so so I'll be uh, I'll be charging it all the way up anyway. So maybe what I'll do is run it way down the day before and then charge it all the way to 100% and see where we're at at that point. But just a quick video today. I wanted you guys to have an idea of you know where we're at with battery capacity and uh, yeah so I am not the least bit worried about longevity with the battery pack on this car so anyway go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh, if you want to buy a new Tesla use my referral code get uh, 5,000 free charging miles there'll be a link in the description below so have a good day guys bye bye now this is gonna create a lot of discussion